People in northeastern and central Pennsylvania continue to pay tribute to Queen Elizabeth II. The love for the monarch has made quite the workload for a business in Luzerne County. Newswatch 16's Emily Kress shows us what's hot off the presses. Queen Elizabeth II will live on in the form of a life-size cardboard cutout in homes across the nation, thanks to a Luzerne County business. Now everybody's fascinated with their lifestyle and, you know, they want to celebrate the Queen's life in their own way and, you know, they're going to order a cutout. Hundreds of orders for the cutout started to flood wet paint printing and design in Wilkes-Barre as news of the monarch's death quickly made its way to the states. Oh, well, it, it pretty much went from like zero to 100 in a matter of within an hour. The business is an exclusive manufacturer contracted through Star Cutouts, the largest cardboard cutout company in England. They're the only business in the U.S. allowed to print the Queen. Co-owner Scott Paul says the Queen has been their number one seller this year, so they had inventory on hand. We did have some printed. We had to dip into our Christmas inventory. Uh, but even that has dwindled quickly. To help meet demand, some employees are volunteering to work overtime. Staff can print one Queen Elizabeth every six minutes or 250 per eight hour shift. I'm going to be working probably all the way through until Monday because we have a lot of work to get done. From basic printing to them getting cut and then from getting cut we have to easel them and then pack them into boxes and have them shipped out to customers. This pallet is just a fraction of the deliveries that will be shipped out across the nation. Since it happened yesterday, we were at about 450. I'm shipping 600 today. It's I, I can't keep up. One of these cardboard cutouts will cost you 50 bucks. It's expected the shop will soon have a license for another royal, King Charles III. Emily Kress, Newswatch 16, Luzerne County.